Yeah. Everybody on your team is hurt, except for I you. Know. You need to be extra careful. I'm healthy. I'm yeah. all good, 100% right now. <laughs> good. I'm glad to hear that. How's life? Everything good? Great. Can't complain. Hanging out with you, so. You just got good. back from, you had a, what, a three-game series in Mexico. Yeah, we just got back from Monterey, Mexico. That's crazy. It that was crazy. That's never, Dodgers haven't done that, like, for a very long time. Playing yeah, first country. time MLB has done it in a while. I think they're trying to expand, so uh, it, was, it was a cool was experience for us. or was it a nuisance? It was fun. It was, uh, fun. it was a home game for us. Dodger fans are everywhere. Obviously, they're, they're everywhere in Mexico. The Padres must have been disheartened. There were some Padre fans there. Yeah. Uh, they obviously they, they beat the series, but we, we had more fans there. Uh, they were awesome. Uh, like I said, it was like a home game for us, so it was pretty special. When you're the rookie of the year, when you're playing as well as you did last year and as you do, do you get hazed more or less by your teammates? <laughs> No, I got it lucky. Uh, the only thing I had to do, I had to dress up. I was Elvis Presley one day. We, I had to walk. I forgot what state we were in. We, I had to walk from our hotel to dinner in my Elvis Presley outfit with, with a few other rookies. That's not too bad. No, it wasn't bad. Uh, Did they provide the costume, or are you going to have to go to get that JT yourself? bought us a costume. Okay. He's, all, all right. he's, he's got a lot of money in his pocket, so he bought the costume. <laughs> uh, carrying beer on the plane, going by every row, making sure everybody's got some beer if they want some beer. And then I'll just kind of have it right there for the trip, and people will just come by, and. That's my job as the rookie, make sure everyone's got some beer. You're the guy that carries the beer. All yeah, right, that's, that's right. not bad. And do you guys have, you do that now this year to another young rookie? Who's the beer carrier this year? Uh, we got Alex Verdugo on it now. We okay. just called him up. He's one of our big, big prospects. So uh, we, we make sure that he's, he's getting treated uh, as a rookie. Badly. A yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. We're trying to. You, do you have superstitions or like game day rituals that you uh, always stick to? Uh, no, not not necessarily. I like to eat the same breakfast. Um, what do you have? What's for breakfast? I go to IHOP every morning. Every so morning. Every morning I go to IHOP. <laughs> I get banana Nutella crepe okay. with hash browns, uh, bacon, and eggs, two over medium. I ride my scooter there. Um, do they now know your order? Do, they, do you just say, yeah, give me the Bellinger, or is well, it? Well, I call online. I'm like, hey, I'm going to get the banana Nutella for Cody. They're like, oh, OK. And then I'm on my, on my scooter in five minutes and go pick it up. And I got IHOP on my scooter. I'm, I'm driving home. Oh, you take it home? Yeah. You shouldn't be allowed on a scooter. What are you doing on a scooter? <laughs> well, I don't want to drive. I have a car. I can't, I can't parallel park. So for me, to, <laughs> for me to get in my car and try to find an open parking spot's tough. So I, I went on Amazon and looked up some electric scooters. I um, see. OK, it's one of like those. I found like $400. So I'm like, <laughs> I I'm got it. It's, all, it's Matt Black, so I'm going to buy this one. When you sign that huge contract in like two or three years, will you eventually buy yourself a car? <laughs> oh, I hope so. I'll buy one that can. Park for that me. That can park, know. yeah, they almost that's, have those. That's things. what I gotta do. You, um, I love this story because I remember your dad, Clay Bellinger, was a player in the mm -hmm. majors. And how many games total did he play? Like less than 200 games. Yeah, right? less than 200 games. And yet, he played in four World Series and won three World mm -hmm. Series, which has to be the record for most World Series per regular season game played, right? I mean, there's it's bizarre. nobody he, even close to that. 12 years in the minor leagues, got called up in 99. Those four years, he was in the World Series. Um, ended with 0-2 in the Angels. Played maybe two games with the Angels, but got a ring, so he still takes it. Yeah, right. <laughs> and does he wear those rings? Does he wear that two-day ring? No, he's, we got him stashed away at the house. Yeah, but sash, yeah. He's not scared to pull them out every once in a while. <laughs> Just to display his jewelry. Yeah, right. And he must be very, very excited. Who was your favorite player growing up? But, well, besides dad, I would imagine. Mine was Derek Jeter. Derek Jeter, um, yeah. Obviously, Derek Jeter. <laughs> getting, to, getting to be alongside him was pretty special. Does he know you were his favorite? I think so. I, mean, I, I might have told favorite? him. You yeah, know, yeah. maybe multiple times, but I think a lot of people... Did it register at all with him? Probably not. Probably not, yeah. You know, I'm just a little kid. He's like, oh, I'm, I'm everybody's favorite player. You know? <laughs> <laughs> You're sitting there eating your crepes at IHOP? Yeah. <laughs> Yasiel Puig, he is, um... Is he the... Is he crazy? What's yeah, going he's on crazy, with him? man. He's crazy. He, uh... He's from Cuba. He, he's crazy. I, there's so many stories that I could say. Um, <laughs> he licks his bat. Yeah. Which I've never seen on a field until I played with him. Um, but he's yeah, he awesome. He licks the bat. It's possible he could get a splinter in his tongue one day. He could do something. He, but he's awesome. He, he plays the game 100% you know, every single day. So we, does he? we have. Does, yeah, he yeah, does. He does yeah. We have a lot of respect for him. He does it in a different way. Um, he's yeah. a good teammate. You know, he, he, 
He's an he's he's a clown. He's an idiot. Though. When you were, <laughs> he's funny though. It's I know you say that affectionately. Yeah, I know you love him. I, yeah. yeah, I've seen that you called him an idiot before. I was like, why is he calling him an idiot? Like, oh, he's just kidding. Yeah, yeah we, we, I call him stupid every day. That's his nickname. <laughs> stupid, so I say, what's up, stupid? <laughs> Baseball, it's a tough game. I mean, there's yeah. a lot of literally locker room talk going there on is. there. So. Over the weekend, there was a no-hitter. Four different pitchers combined for that no-hitter. Dodgers. Do you guys abide by the rule of never discussing the no-hitter while it's happening? Absolutely. We, uh, we did such a good job of not letting people know that some people on our team didn't even know we had a no-hitter after the game. <laughs> after the game? So we, we go through the tunnel, go into the locker room. I'm not going to name any names. <laughs> but I was like, I didn't know if I should have celebrated with the pitcher or not. And he goes, why? And I was like, we just throw a no-hitter. And he goes, oh, <laughs> it was different because we had, it wasn't one pitcher, it was three pitchers. It was a combined no hitter, so it felt a little different, but it was still pretty cool. Well, it's great to have you here. Thanks for coming. I wish you the best this season. I hope the team gets healthy very quickly. Clay right. Bellinger, everybody. Cody Bellinger. Sorry, I'm, I'm old. <laughs> Cody Bellinger, the Dodgers, play these Diamondbacks tomorrow. I am Jimmy Kimmel. If you want to see all our latest videos, click the subscribe button. And if you don't, click anyway and close your eyes when they come on.